Hello and welcome to another episode of the Unnamed Car Buying Show. As always, I'm joined by my friend and colleague, Lynn Woodward. Hello, Lynn. Hi. We're never going to find a name for this show. I feel like that's I, that's the, the name. That's the name. The name. Um, yeah, it's going it. to stick. So the um, topic this week, we're talking pickup trucks. And we're keeping price within reason because the cost of a new pickup truck is astronomical. I mean, it's the time of $100,000 pickup trucks, which is bananas but i just want something simple and plain and that's why i said our budget at fifteen thousand dollars so i would like you to wow me with your pick before i show you what a real truck is yeah i'm i'm feeling very very confident this round um i've decided i've kind of learned i think we're six episodes in that you don't buy cars you think other people would like or need you buy cars that you want (laughs) and i think that's the magic to be honest because um, you like cool cars. Mm -hmm. And so I have thrown that out the window. I am no longer practical Lynn. I am now, what do I want in my own garage Lynn? Um, So this one, you know, I gotta say this one was actually really tough. And that's because Americans love trucks. Trucks are everywhere. They're sort of ubiquitous, right? When I put in a search of, what we were looking for under 15 grand. I wanted it to be four by four. So I made sure that four by four was part of it. Um, and I even set the limit at 75,000 miles um, at first. First, it was like, uh, yeah, first it was no miles. There were 11,000 trucks to look through. So then right. I said, I said a little bit of a, of, of a filter and I said 75,000 miles and that actually narrowed it down to like two, 280. So I'm like, oh gosh, we've gone from a lot to a very little. Um, and finding a truck that actually has very few miles on it is a big challenge. Um, because they're all being used and because that's, you know, that's kind of what we do. So I kind of, the first place I went was, of course, the Toyota Tacoma because the Taco is just such a great all-around truck. Sure, it's right-sized. If you want to, if you want to schlep things around, you can totally do that. Um, but also, you can still wheel in it because the wheelbase is short, especially if you get like just the regular cab that doesn't have the double thing because you're not buying anything on Auto Trader when it comes to Tacoma that is not that is any like later than like mid 2000s. Yeah. Like so 2006 or 2007, I found one that I really liked, but then I kind of scrolled down and I was like salvage title, like, mm. no, like rebuild. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, so then I pivoted away from the, the Toyota and I actually found a 2005 Mazda B series 4,000 oh, sure. that I thought was great. And that I liked 94,000 miles on it. 12, Five, I think was the, the the number, manual transmission, all of the right things. And then I made the stupid, I made the error of Googling it. And I found a review that Johnny Lieberman wrote back in the day on the truth about cars. And I've never heard anyone rail on a truck more. And I was like, oh, wow. He did not like the truck. And so I was huh. like, all right, well, then I'm going to get dinged for that. And then I looked at a 2009 um, F-150 Lariat, which actually looked great. 55,000 miles on it, which I thought was amazing. 1488, which I thought was really great. This had the new 5.4 liter V8 that was all, new. All I'm hearing here, all I'm hearing here is not the truck you picked. No. Let's get to your the, pick. <laughs> okay. I picked, well, you go ahead and look at the pick. I, I already picked. opened it up. That's why I want to hear you tell me about you it. You <laughs> You told me you'd wait. Well, no, because you you started talking. I thought you were going to dive right into it. <laughs> All right. Well, so I went with my heart on this one. I went back to Auto Trader Classic because Which now I should have I've done. just become like a thing. And one of the first things that came up was an 89 Toyota pickup. It's a four by four, regular, cl- regular cab. Um, it's a V6. This thing, yes, it has 244,000 miles on the odometer. But if you dig a little deeper into it, you see this has basically had a complete rebuild. Engine totally overhauled, new heads, new gaskets, oil pump, water pump, plugs, timing belt, it's got Bilstein's on it. It's got BFGs on it. It has a Pioneer stereo with Bluetooth, so you can still be kind of modern in your connect in your connecting to it. Um, new brakes, new hoses. It's basically a rebuild. 
look, maybe it was salvaged. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. But when you look at this classic, I I don't know that I would even care. It's got the the lights on it. Yeah. It definitely has that classic look. Like a 19-year-old Lynn would just be like jumping up and down so happy about this truck. 10 grand. You even have $5,000 to play around with to fix it up if it needs it. It doesn't um, seem like it does. I mean, I got to tell you, this is a pretty, I wasn't expecting this. This is a good pick. You once again made the smart move to go to classic, which I didn't do this time around. Um, this looks like it could be like if there was a light versus dark version of McFly's truck, this is the yes. light version. And uh, I yes. think it looks fantastic. This is a really good pick. So this, I, I went with my, I went with my heart instead of the practicality piece of it. And I'm hoping that wins me points. Yeah, no, it does. You're learning. You're learning. This is a really, this is a strong contender, but no. <laughs> I want, I stuck on auto trader and I did want to find something lower mileage because they're out there. Uh, the Chevy people are crazy. They want crazy money for lower mileage stuff. The Ford people and surprisingly the Dodge people are, are doing pretty well. I almost went with the Dodge, um, but I didn't like the little quarter cab for the rear seats, even though it was like a huge, awesome truck. And the US, the plate was perfect for a, a, an Arizona Dodge truck. It was USA NRA. I'm like, yeah, that, that actually fits that truck, but I'm sending you mine right now. I'm, I went back to like my love for the Ford brand and what I found is a 1995 Ford F-150 regular cab. Well, I saw this one. So lots of utility, five liter Ford V8, gorgeous red paint, nice wheels and tires, perfect interior. It is not a four by four, which could be a knock against it, oh. um, but 65,000 miles. Yeah. And it looks like. I mean, it's got a little rust. It's got a little rust. That's, on that's the surface. Frame. That's nothing. That is, I mean, because look, look to the side of that where the like more of the exposed yeah. silver is. That yeah. frame surface rust, you can knock that off in two seconds. Yeah. I'm trying to find things wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dent under the uh, driver's dent. side headlight. How hideous. Yeah. What a failure. I look can't how clean the, the interior is. The interior looks so good. And I love that little jump seat in the middle that kind of folds down to your mm -hmm. console where you're like, what would be like your little center console? Um. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, I mean, the window sticker. Is the window sticker still on there? Not on it, but he, they still have it. Like, he's, oh, geez. He still has it, which is crazy. This is so clean for this I year, know. you know, and obviously like, did he say anything? Does the seller say anything yeah. about it being a work truck? Or uh, like No, it just says beautiful West Coast, low original mileage. Oh, West Coast is huge. Yeah. That was a consideration for me too, was I found one that was like a New Jersey truck and I was like, nope, not doing that. Yeah, no, I wouldn't touch that either. Not uh, doing that. I, I got to tell you, I, I am really, really, really like, to the point, oh, also in my favor, 8,900 bucks. How is that in your favor? We because, had a budget. It's not I, like- Well, because because you said, oh, I, I got mine for 10 and I saved five. Well, I mean, I'm saving even more. Uh, that said, I'm very impressed with your pick because it's, it's everything has been rebuilt and hopefully there's not like an underlying problem there. I don't think there is. It's Toyota. It's basic. This is the, this is when you could trust Toyota engines. Um, yes. So this one is good to go. The four wheel drive gives it the edge, the size on trails. Cause I, I wouldn't take that red one off road. I wouldn't take it off road. It'd be too hard. Yeah. Maybe no camping on a fire road, but, but yeah, I wouldn't want to get it that dirty. Um, And the truck, you also, should want to yeah. get dirty. Yes. Yeah. My I pick is wonderful. Your pick, I think is the winner. I will 100% uh, take it. <laughs> I feel somewhat vindicated after last week because um, I loved your pick last week. And every single person in the comments was like, what a loser you are, Lynn. Like, oh, well, I don't think it was that Jeff, hard. Jeff, Jeff. But I felt the same way. I mean, listen, had I picked that car because it was something that I loved and I, I wanted to buy it, I would have a hundred percent gone with your roadmaster, but when Musto and like all these guys were like, dude, totally Jeff. I felt like a door knob because I was like, they think I actually want a minivan. <laughs> well, you have to remember if we were recording this series for Kelly blue book, my right. answers would be different. And yours was oh. a good Kelly blue book answer. You are in auto trader country. 
Okay. The Roadmaster reigns supreme. <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, and that's, you know, by both of these trucks are great auto trader picks, but again, you win. So I'll take it. I, I did it. find a lightning. I was looking for like, the, not an electric one, the OG, um, oh, the okay. second gen actually technically. And I found one on auto trader and I should have looked at classics because those first gen square lightnings would be cool. Um, and it was 14.5, but it had like 200 something thousand miles. And I was like, yeah. eh. but it was original owner, which was really neat. That's um, awesome. Yeah. Um, I found but, another good one that was like 15.2. And I was like, do I just go with this and just oh, go with her? Like, but I can haggle. <laughs> price of right. <laughs> what is it? Um, price is right rules. I would have lost. And yeah. I'm like, well, if, I thought, if, yeah, haggling. There, you got to haggle in here. You know, but, if you find an ad like that, that's a little over, but it say it was like 15 two, and then the ad says, or best offer. That is like a gray area that might be accepted. Okay. All right. And All we're right. making up rules on the fly. Noted. Um, so congrats <laughs> on your win. And Thank now you. I got to go back to the drawing board and not ignore auto trader classics once again. I mean, this is twice in a row that I've pulled out the W using that, uh, using that, that, technique. Yeah. that technique. So congratulations. Thank you.